Oh, well, good afternoon. 5.30 in the p.m. I'm going to pop out to the shed real quick. This is uh, another challenge video from Justin. I'm doing it. But before I start, I got a challenge for you, sir. Get rid of your Tercel. Get it cleaned out, get it up on Craigslist, and make it go away. So, is that the 700 or is that the Turbo 350? I may. I can't remember. That might be my 700. So, he asked me to put a challenge, put a question up to you. That Oldsmobile sitting in the garage back up there. They haven't been doing much with lately. But I need a transmission for it. I need a transmission to figure out where the transmission cross member is going to mount. I want to upgrade to a four speed automatic. Get away from the three speed. With fuel prices going the way they are, they're only going up. And uh, yeah, I want to I want to take advantage of a four speed automatic. That car will also be running fuel injection. Just put a throttle body, one of those aftermarket four barrel kits on it. So it'll be lively, a little more responsive than a carburetor. But I'm on the fence right now. I wanted to do a 204R because they bolt right up to the old Buick Pontiac blocks. From what I've read or from what I've heard, they've got all the holes all the way around the bell housing. Uh, and they're the same length as a turbo 350, so you don't have to change your drive line. We're gonna lose some light here in a second. Need to fix that door on the shed here. Uh, but I'm gonna be running a 455 in that car, so I don't really need the lower first and second gear ratio that the seven with the uh, 200s run. They were made for the full size cars in the early 80s. Uh, they didn't have a whole lot of horsepower, so they ran the lower gear ratios to get the cars up to speed. But I was sitting in there thinking a little while ago, I got somewhere, and I think this is it. I picked it up for free. I don't know if it's the right one or not, but it's a 700 R4. Which, you can build them both to almost handle the same power, from what I've read. Uh, everybody says, oh, go for the 700, it's a better transmission. They're about the same. They're pretty much the same. But I think, and I need to double confirm, this may be the 350. i got to dig around. This may be... Pull this up to check it. But I don't remember if that's my 700 or a Turbo 350. I know I picked up a 700. I got a 700. Why don't I just use that? Because I forgot that I even had that. And let's not do the sit wheel later. We'll put it on top of the ace because we're not even driving this thing. Pardon me while I adjust all my stuff in my shed here. If I get you to fit, that would be awesome. Get my tail kicked by a piece of particle board. And where's it at? That's a 700, isn't it? It's got the big pan on it. I do believe. I think I just need to run a 700 since I already got one. I'm going to have to buy an adapter plate. And change the drive line, shorten it a little bit. But uh, yeah, is that a 700? Because I know I pulled a 350 out of the car. I do 
believe that's a 700. You all tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm going to go inside real quick and I'm going to take a quick look. You know what? I'm going to put you on pause and we're going to go out to the garage real quick. Be right back. Okay, we're out here at the garage. There's the Turbo 350 sitting right there. That's what came out of the car. Buried into the front end here. Torque converter's off. It's a shorter one too, which is fine. So I guess that answers my own question. So Justin told me he wanted to see a video of me putting up on YouTube asking if anybody had a 200 transmission that I could uh, snag from. Basically just the case. But I think after sitting down and thinking I'm not going to need that lower first and second gear ratio with the torque that this 455 is going to be putting out. Even though this Cutlass is a heavy car, it's going to be more than enough power out of this 455. So I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to run a 700 R4. It means I'm going to have to change my drive line. I'm going to have to get a torque or a, uh, an adapter plate. I need to find out what that transmission is for as well. It's a two-wheel drive transmission. I don't know if the trucks and the cars were different. I have no idea. Really don't know what that came out of. That came from my buddy Evan at work. Uh, his son, Vortex812, on YouTube. Uh, so, well, actually, I knew Evan before I knew his son, but uh, I think we're going to run a 700. I was talking to Justin and uh, about this frame. I wanted to get some more work done to it. We're getting close. A little more cleanup in the garage here, but. I need to figure out where that cross member needs to go. So I'm going to have to dig online and figure out what I need. Because that transmission needs a complete rebuild anyway. It was in pretty rough shape when I got it. I mean, I got it for free. I don't remember. I think I was planning on maybe putting it in the 84. But... I think the two-wheel drive and the four-wheel drive transmissions are different. I think they have different cases. This should be a two-wheel drive, I believe. So I need to pull that thing out and start cleaning it. And then, because uh, I'm getting real close to wanting to get this frame going. That's kind of the goal for this year. A little bit more cleanup in here, obviously. But uh, I was talking to Justin about possibly picking up a set of motor mounts for that 455, just getting them on the block. Get the block set in the frame. And I don't know if I can reuse the factory ones off the old frame for the 350. I don't know if they're the same or not. I'll have to go do some research. And, uh, get uh, get the transmission bolted up, mounted in the whole assembly. Put a jack stand under the back, and I can figure out where that cross member needs to go, which is somewhere in the car. And we start welding that bad boy in. And then uh, make some progress on this. I'm not saying it'll be done anytime soon. I'm still a ways out. I got all these other projects, but I want to get that blazer going. I keep staring at that. It's like I want to go drive the truck. So, in the 63. Almost was ready to start the wiring this weekend, but with the storm blowing through. So, anywho. There you go, Justin. I think I've made a decision. I've already got the transmission I want, or I need. It just kind of makes more sense. I've already got one. It's going to have to be rebuilt. There's a shop down in California I was thinking of buying one from, ready to go. But I think we'll just take a chance and have that one built. There's a transmission shop right up the road here that I guess is pretty good. We'll see what they can set me up with when the time comes. But at least get me set up with... The location for that cross member that's what i really wanted because then i could mount the motor and transmission in the car and have them out of the way i could free up the engine stand that 350 i don't want to get rid of that it's a good motor but it would make sense to sell it but it's harder to sell a motor out of a car not running I think I stripped a couple of head bolts too, so. But I kind of like to hang on to it. 
I'll use it for something down the road. Maybe when the 350 and the 84 goes haywire, we can replace it with an old 350, huh? Or in the blazer and build it up a little bit, have some extra grunt. Yeah. Anywho, okay, let's go ahead and end this. So I've answered my question. There you go, Justin. I've done my part of the video. Now get rid of your tercel. Get that thing gone. I know you want to make it disappear. Make a commitment and get it gone. Get it cleaned out, get it posted for this coming holiday weekend. Maybe it'll go away. I know you want to come over Saturday, but if somebody wants to go look at it. Maybe, you know, you could push it off till Sunday or Monday if you're not working, but, yeah, get rid of your car. It'll free up time and money and space for other projects. Okay, let's end this. We'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.